WordPress provides a number of hooks that allow plugins to hook into the functionality of WordPress. Your theme should support these hooks to allow plugin developers to extend your theme. In this lesson, you will learn how to allow plugins to hook into your theme by implementing specific template tags. If you are developing a block theme, you should not have to worry about implementing these template tags. The blocks that implement the functionality described in this lesson already support the relevant hooks. Using these template tags is only necessary if you're developing a classic theme or custom functionality outside of the core blocks. Most hooks are executed internally by WordPress, so your theme does not need special tags for them to work. However, a few hooks need to be supported in specific theme templates. These hooks are fired by specific template tags. WP head fires the WP head action, which is used by plugins to add code to the head section of your theme. This tag should always be at the end of the head element in a theme's header.php template file. WP body open fires the WP body open action, which is used by plugins to add code to the body element of your theme. This tag goes at the beginning of the body element in the theme's header.php template file. WP footer fires the WP footer action, which is used by plugins to add code to the footer of your theme. This tag should be in the theme's footer.php file, just before the closing body tag. WP meta fires the WP meta action. This action can have several purposes, depending on how you use it, but one purpose might be to allow for theme switching. This tag typically goes in the meta section of a theme's menu or sidebar. Comment form is used to display the comment form at the end of posts. This tag goes in the comments.php template file directly before the file's closing div tag. For the full list of plugin API hooks, check out the plugin API hooks page under advanced topics in the theme developer handbook.